Hey, this is Mickey at Millennium Shoes. We're here right now with the All-Star Pack. Check this out. FTD, fresh to death. Look at this box. NOLA Gumbo League, indeed. You got that branding right there with the swoosh. Looks like a ball. There's the hoop, very stained glass-ish. As you can see right here, looks like an alligator. The trumpet, trumpet symbolizing jazz culture. The gator symbolizing its value in New Orleans culture as a protector and also being just this fierce competitor. Keep in mind here also, as you can see on this box, LeBron James. That's right, we're going with the LeBron 11 All-Star. Mention, of course, got the Nola Gumbo League card. And there, of course, is the Gator King with ball and sword in hand. Fresh! Look at this. This is a beautiful work of art. Check out this beautiful purple and teal running all throughout the outsole in a marble pattern. Beautiful. Go up right here in this hyperposit bucket. You got glow in the dark all the way throughout with hand drawn features that show in the glow in the dark. It's beautiful. Shank plate here in the purple and teal. Pur this rich purple carrying over in the hyperposit. Glow in the dark swoosh. You can see a hit of that fly wire in the purple as well as the eyelets. More of the hand drawn patterns on the glow in the dark. That purple streaming through. As you can see, you've got these bold, thick purple laces with the hits of green crisscrossing throughout over top of a purple mesh mid, leading up to the green lion. I love it. Right up to the tongue where you got the crown LJ. Beautiful. Love this. I love that print going up right on the tongue too. I think it's just fresh. Very gator-ish. Quick shot here of the medial. Got some fly wire branding. Purple swoosh, this time not glow in the dark. More of the hand drawn character or patterns, I should say, over the glow in the dark. There's that shank plate in purple, which we'll come back to. Very clean. Of course, you want to take a look in the shoe. You can see right here, you got Nola Gumba, sorry, Nola Gumbo League embroidered. Quick shot here inside the shoe, as you can see, you got. Nola Gumbo Leak patch embroidered into the footbed and then you can see this beautiful pattern carrying all the way throughout the shoe. It's very fresh, much the same as what you see in the box and this is also going to match the jacket that comes with uh, part of the All-Star Pack which is really fresh. also want to show you some accompanying laces in the purple and silver. I think that would be a nice matchup. Maybe a little bit more tonal and not sticking out as much as this purple and green one. Either way, I think they're both fresh. Can't go wrong there. Quick shot of the sole for you. I love this. You got more of that marble, purple, and green going throughout with the cracks coming right through. LeBron James signature in that teal. Fresh! I'm loving this. This is Eli. What more can I say? This is just beautiful. I'm nicknaming these the Devastators. I know there was a Devastator custom that came out a few years ago, but this shoe right here, this purple and green, reminds me of Devastator from the Transformers. So even though this is the Gator King, to me, it's Devastator. Fresh! On to the next one. We're talking about KD. One of the things I didn't mention on the other box, and you see a little bit of it right here, is the crawfish. You see his claws right here, and that's definitely a part of New Orleans culture, of course. Now, onto the KD card, as you can see. Here is the illusion, KD himself. And this is just fresh to death. Check this out glow-in-the-dark outsole in this beautiful teal green. Got the air bubble right there, mint teal with the speckles, black all the way throughout with a black-on-black -black splatter print. Go up to the top, you got the KD in the upper, in this teal, and then you got this graphic going all the way throughout the shoe, just like this beautiful pattern running through with a very exaggerated swoosh common to your KDs. Hit of that teal running all the way throughout. Quick shot on the toe, the same graphic. Flat and black laces going up the mid with that light green inside. And then of course right there, beautiful, love that. Quick shot of the medial, a lot of black with that beautiful hit of that teal swoosh right there. 
that lining, that lining is ill. Once again, reflecting what you saw in that box, just going all the way throughout. It's crazy beautiful. And then, of course, there's that NOLA Gumbo League embroidered patch right there on the footbed in a shimmering glitter, beautiful over black. Now, if you look at the outsole, you got a glow-in-the-dark outsole with a hand-drawn pattern all the way throughout in black. Very fresh. KD branding right there on the heel. Clean. Now, one of the things that goes to this shoe about it being the illusion is that KD himself is like an illusion as far as a seven footer goes. He's fast, he's agile, not what you would expect of a seven footer. And I think this shoe is perfectly complementing him as well as with the all star. And also the hand drawn pattern is supposed to go to his fluidity in the game. I think clean, I think the execution is awesome. And the pack is getting better and better. Now rounding out the pack, we got the Maestro and that's the Kobe. Check this out, Kobe 9 all star, fresh to death, glow in the dark outsole. Hit of carbon fiber in the mid. Got this beautiful black with the glow in the dark speckles going throughout. Go up to the upper. Got an enlarged form of that pattern going through. Beautiful hyperfuse throughout. Black and white with the gold swoosh. Leading you right up to the tongue. Black bleeding into that hyperfuse white and black very fresh as you go up to the mid the laces have the same print we saw on the lining of the shoe very clean over top of a mesh mid beautiful as you get up to the tongue you've got a black tongue with a teal kobe sword and shield just can't go wrong with that that's so clean quick shot of the medial right here similar to the lateral love that as you look inside the shoe you can tell once again you got that lining which is just very fresh and clean definitely something you don't want to take your eyes off of quick shot of the heel here you got some red horizontal embroidered rose there beautiful quick shot of the sword and shield and as we go to the sole fresh glow in the dark looks very topographical in the pattern red sword and shield in the bottom heel beautiful now this is definitely one of the strongest all-star packs we've had in years i truly mean that all the pieces here are just beautiful they fit like a perfect puzzle however there's always going to be that one you like a little bit more everyone's going to have their favorites some may agree with mine some may disagree with mine maybe i shouldn't even say but i'm gonna say i love them all i truly do but if there was only one be the LeBron, the Gator King. This is the one I love, and I'm telling you why right now. You look at the whole pack here, the Kobe and the Katie, they're beautiful, but they look like clear derivatives of one another. They look like they're just kind of coming off the same family. The LeBron, of course, too, but it stands out. It definitely looks like the one that has a different level of detail and attention to it. It just sticks out of the pack a little bit more, and I don't know, there's just something about this silhouette. It's just beautiful. I really like it. I think this is fresh. My take on it. Anyhow, All-Star Pack is going to drop on the 15th. You don't want to miss out. You're going to want to have to like abide by the orders. Make sure you get your pairs and no foolery, no shenanigans, whether you're getting it with us or you're getting it with anyone. We want this to be a nice, quick, and safe release where everybody goes away happy and everybody gets their shoe and no need for any mess. All right? This is Mickey from Millennium Shoes. Thanks for tuning in and enjoy the All-Star game. We out.